engine. You put that rifle down. You hear? All right, engine. You come on out of there. All right, now don't go playing no games with me. You come on out of there and make it pronto. You're scared. All you redskins is yellow. Well, hide, then. This ain't the end of it. I seen you. I seen that puny little 22 you carry. Then I know what you got in mind. Well, I got something in mind, too. to tell you this on an empty stomach, but, um... Uh, what's that old saying about idleness and trouble? You had peach preserves, huh? Uh... Yeah, he's so downright devoted to troublemaking. Boils down to just plain hard work. Nichols, now you and me don't agree on much. We agree on that. Catch him, would you move? You're in my life. So don't get no ideas that I'm here for no special favor. To serve and protect. Now, does that say it? Say what? What wearing a tin badge is all about. You're sheriff. Yeah. And I'm a law-abiding citizen. Well. So you like it or not, I'm what you're paid to protect and serve. Put like that, Ketchum, I gotta admit. I don't like it. But uh, let's just get the record straight. I'm not paid often or enough which don't happen to be here nor there when you're talking to a man who's about to have his rights violated. Look, I seen him out there, prize the Lord of creation. He was stalking, that's what he was doing. He was stalking my buck. He was sighting on him. Catch him, what are you talking about? Apache, that's what I'm talking about. Not one of them tame engines on the reservations, not one of ours, Apache. Apache? Catch him, there's not an Apache within 500 miles of Nichols. Closer to six. Oh, that shows you what you know. You'll say different one of them puts cold steel next to your throat. Catch him, did you come here to lodge a complaint? Because if you didn't, my eggs are getting cold and you've eaten half my bacon. A man who cares more about his stomach than he does who's getting killed ain't much of a sheriff. Who's getting killed? Me or him. Only it ain't gonna be me. You think I can't find him? Well, them reservation Indians are gonna be only too pleased to lead me right to him. <sighs> Save my paper for me, Ruth. You have any idea what that was all about? No, but the way he was talking, I better find out. You know, Ketchum's the only man that I know that could do it single-handed. What? Start an Indian war. <laughs> Oh, where you are, you ain't going nowhere this time. Now, me and you's got some talking to do on some wrongdoing, renegade. Put up a gun, catch him. I said put it up. Well, you decide to do your duty, now I got this engine under control? My name is Juan Garcia. Don't get sassy. Every engine I ever seen calls itself Juan Garcia. Afraid to use their real names, afraid somebody's gonna steal them. Ain't that some kind of crazy? Well, not if you got a good memory. To serve and protect me. Look, this here's Sheriff Nichols. Now, him and me want some answers, and we want them with pronto. Hey, catch him. All I want from you pronto is to shut up. 
so I can find out what the problem is. The problem? Look, I'll tell you what the problem is. He was hunting out of season. Uh, Juan, uh, mind if I see your rifle? Hey, look over there. He's even building a skinning rack. Don't that tell you nothing? Gotta fix that sight. This rifle hadn't been fired. Well, he was fixing to fire it. I know what I seen. Who made your season for hunting and not hunting? State legislature, state of Arizona, that's who. And the season don't open for two weeks. White men's laws are for white men. I'm Apache. The Apache can hunt and fish anytime, anywhere. It is in our treaty. The law is a law, and you ain't above it. Uh, neither of you catch him, so stop acting like a hanging judge. Uh, you're new on the reservation? Mescalero? You are from New Mexico, aren't you? I'm from New Mexico. Well, then why ain't he there with the rest of his kind? What's he doing on our reservation? You know, they probably ran him out. Probably some kind of a troublemaker. What are you talking about New Mexico for, anyway? We're talking Arizona, Arizona law. You're talking Arizona law. I am Apache. You keep saying that like Apaches was made out of solid gold. Catch him, I'm warning you. Me? Warn him, not me. I ain't planning to poach. I don't poach. I hunt. Not off the reservation, not out of season, you don't. Are you a serious man? If not, then go play with the children, for I am a serious man. Did you hear that sassy boy talk right back? He's gonna try and kill my deer before it's legal. Wait a minute, who said it was your deer? Who said? Look, everybody knows I've been tracking that buck for the past three years in season. If you don't stop him, that engine's gonna get unfair advantage. Well, life is just full of unfair advantages. Now, there's a few people might even say that you got some yourself. Look, Nichols, you are the sheriff, and you gotta lay down some kind of law to that boy. Well, which law? You see, I'm a municipal law. Sir, the hunting season is a state law, and Juan is a federal Indian. There's just no jurisdiction right down the line. Was that a fact? Mm -hmm. Well, that's out of your hands? Well, that's fine. That's just real fine. And I'm free to go get somebody down here that does have jurisdiction. pay. Everybody on the reservation knows more than they can pay. The day I was told I can't hunt, the night I'm told I can't trade. Is the white man so eager for my death? Oh, uh, now, don't talk crazy, Juan. You know that ain't the case. A good rifle, Hemmings. 30-30. With bullets. Well, you ain't gonna get them from me. Now, I ain't no stranger to hunger. A two weeks' hunger is a lot better than human territorial jail. You're just gonna have to wait till the season opens like everybody else. Like the Mojave and the Kokopa. They follow your laws because they're afraid. Well, they're still alive, ain't they? Are they? You go to the reservation, then you tell me they're still alive. Well, I ain't gonna be party to it. You are party to it. My people and your people signed an agreement. I have the right to hunt. I need that rifle. Well, if I was your enemy, I'd give it to you, Juan, but I'm your friend. So you take what you need to eat. Cornmeal, jerky. I owe too much already. I need the rifle. Uh, now get out of here, Juan. I ain't gonna be part of no fool scheme, get you killed or serving a jail sentence.
see something wrong? Where Ketchum's involved, there's always something wrong. One, huh? Man's as stubborn as a government mule. Well, then them Apache's got their pride, you know. Talk about Ketchum. Got his mean little heart set on some eight-point buck. Well, the same one one's after, huh? According to Ketchum. Well, now, you know, Nickel, that's just not fair. Why, well, Ketchum can wait in open season. He's waiting on a full belly. Because I don't know that. What's Apache doing down here anyway? Well, I couldn't say for sure, but I think it's his wife. You know, he never see one without his wife or his kid. She's not Apache. No, she's Yuma. And you know how these Indians are about marrying outside. I got a feeling his people wouldn't accept her, and so he just brought her on home. Yeah, they're a reservation where you can't find a decent jackrabbit. Uh, you can't blame them if they forage on the outside. I don't. Have you seen Ketchum? He's running around waving a law in one hand and a loaded gun in the other, and he's capable of using both. I just figured Juan ought to know about it. Well, I'll tell him, but you know, telling Apache something, getting him to listen is two different things. <laughs> like this. What you need out here is a good horse. You do it your way, I'll do it mine. OK. Now, let's just take this nice and easy. First thing we'll do is have a little understanding, and after that, everything will be apple pie. You mind if we get introduced before we get understood? Oh, I know who you are. Everybody knows who you are. This here's Mike Duran. He's a federal marshal, real lawman. Hey, Duran, there he is, right over there. Okay. Hey, you. Step over here. Let's have your name. Name's Juan Garcia. Do what I tell you. Every one of them's called Juan Garcia. They don't figure the real name makes us any difference. Hey, come on, Garcia. The marshal wants to see you. Come on, come on. Listen to me, boy. First off, I got no prejudices against the Cocoa Pa, the Mojave, the Yuma, the Kamaya. They're all the same to me. You understand? These Apache don't belong on the reservation in the first place. That ain't against the law. And that's what I deal with, the law. I heard all about what's been going on down here. Hunting out of season. And I came down here to stop that. Now, you just take one step out of line, and you're going to think the whole sky fell on you. You hear that, Nichols? Now, that's the way a real lawman talks. Uh, you're leaning pretty heavy on a man that hasn't done anything wrong yet. And you, as a federal marshal, you should know that the Apache treaties, uh, they don't have any restriction on uh, hunting rights. Well, it just so happens that he ain't on an Apache reservation. In case that escaped your notice. He's on an Arizona reservation under Arizona law. And if you and him don't like that, you're just going to have to take it to court. A one hunts to feed his family. They get hungry even when it ain't hunting season. Now, if you want to help him break the law, you go to jail with it. You got that? You're not only leaning heavy, you're leaning in all the wrong directions. You see, that badge doesn't give you a license to judge which laws to enforce and which laws not. You enforce them all the same way I do, impartial. And if you don't, and then I'll put you in jail for malfeasance in office. Now, don't threaten me, Duran. You got a job to do, do it. Don't crowd me while I'm doing mine. Watch it. You're talking to the state of Arizona and the United States government. And I represent both of them. That's done to Mike. That goes for you, too. Started out as hunger. It's gone far beyond that now. Apache'd sooner feed his pride than his hunger. And he'd sooner die than let Ketchum get that buck. Ah! 
Hey, you're coming along fine with that skin and rack. Of course, there's no great rush. Still two weeks before the season opens. Not for me. One, I don't want to argue the right or the wrong of it, but there are laws. You got a good look at Duran. If you fire one shot, you're going to have half the state of Arizona crawling up your back. Now, we're talking about 200 pounds of deer. If you could shoot it, you'd never be able to get it back here. I couldn't. With a good horse and the help of another man. Juan. Uh, Duran's got everything his way. Now, why don't you just wait it out? Hemmings will give you what you want. A horse? With the help of another man? Food. Charity is for the sick, for the old, for families without men. Well, pride's fine. It's fine. It doesn't cost you more than you want to pay. If I have to arrest you to keep you alive, I'll do it. I need you. Okay, Ma said. Who cares what Ma said? Ma said. Everybody always acts like she weighed 400 pounds. Please, catch him. Spare me that, would you? I know you stand up to her and everything, but you're rich and I'm poor, and as far as I'm concerned, come payday, she weighs 400 tons. What'd Ma say? She said, anytime Nichols leaves town, I'm swore to protect. Protect the town? That's right. And you call shooting pool and drinking beer protecting the town. Catch him. Do you see that? A man that lives with death like me has got to find a way to ease the tension, otherwise he just couldn't live with it all. Protect the town. You ain't got no idea what you're protecting it from. I'm not gonna stand here and let you talk to me like some old mangy suck egg dog. I'm not gonna do that. Now, I got a federal marshal down here, but he ain't gonna be enough. For what? Police the woods. We got engines out there poaching our deer. And I'm not talking about good engines. I'm not talking about ours. I'm talking Apache. Apache? Yeah, and they start taking our game. The next thing they start taking is scalps, and one of them could be yours, Mitch. You want me to go up against an Apache? Not alone. I don't want you to go out there alone. I want you to go out and get some volunteer game wardens and then deputize them and get them out there in the woods. Uh, I mean, it's two weeks this season opens. Where am I going to get volunteers for that kind of duty? Right off of this here list, that's where. He's the man that owes us money. <laughs> that's a mess of people. Yep, well, they'll feel happy to help a neighbor. <laughs> Let me ask you this. As soon as we find this Indian poaching, then uh, what are we gonna do? We'll just fire a warning shot, and you tell them deputies not to feel obliged to miss. <laughs> Eight years old, that's how old it is. Don't get a new hat, I'm telling you, I don't tend to set foot in that church again, ever. So you just figure to be walking around with my immortal soul on your conscience. Look here, I give you money once a month regular. What you do with it's your own business. I request you spend it, no three. Go ahead, buy a hat, buy goods for a new dress. A dress, a dress. I ain't seen a new dress in this family since we burned Aunt Jo. Rest her soul. And she was wearing it. I give you money regular. And regular, I buy seed and hog mash and fiddles for the table. In that order. Pick up some brads, gotta secure that wire. Need a couple two by four, shore up the chicken coop. Well, if you can't manage, just come on out and say so. Mitchell, what you doing out there, Mitchell? Well, I knocked, didn't you hear me? There never has been a woman born that knew how to manage money. Well, go on ahead. Buy yourself that new hat, and we'll see just how much money it brings at the stock sale. Oh, you gotta tell the whole world our business. Are uh, you busy, Henry? I can come back later. What do you want? Well, uh, catch him. He sent me over here. You see, the engine's been poaching our game, and he figured you'd lend a hand. Well, I'll swear you in right where you stand, you know, unless you got more press than Matt. Afternoon, Martha. I don't know when you're going to be back. You know, it'll be sometime around the opening of the season. Well, go ahead and swear me in. I'm just dying to shoot something. Have you ever tried a penny saved? Is a penny earned? Catch them. We're all here. We're ready to go. All of them? You mean fours all of them? Well, maybe not all. Look, where's that list I give you? 
A lot of them are gonna show up tomorrow. Well, a lot of them better show up tomorrow. Look, I didn't tell you to go out and run up no poker game. We need men to cover the woods. Well, it wasn't that they were cold footed They just had to tidy up their affairs to get free, but they're gonna be here tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, every name on the list? Yeah, every one of them. Look, there ain't a business in town that don't start and end at the Ketchum Ranch. Now, I want you to tote up those that don't show up, and you watch how fast I see him belly up broke. All right, I'll do that, Ketchum. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, well, it ain't much, but it's a start. Now, look, we're, we're going out on patrol two by two. Now, when we hit the woods, I'll spot you where I want you. Come on. About that Mitch, we caught him red-handed and armed. Yeah. You just hand over that circumstantial evidence. What are you talking about? Now, don't you pretend you ain't hunting my buck. I was hunting rabbits. Circumstantial evidence. You've got that gun in your hand, and you got that deer in your thoughts. Now, give me the gun. It's mine. Move around behind him, Mitch. Now, don't move that gun. I got this one all cocked and ready to go. You tell me how I'm gonna move behind him unless he drops the gun. Now throw it down, engine. You're under arrest. I'm the one who says she's under arrest. I'm the officer. I'm the official. I'm dude. Move, Mitch. Take that rifle, you really gonna be sorry. Catch him. We ain't. Shut up, Mitch. What are we gonna do? Deputies, officers of law, now you can't act like that, don't apply. Yeah, but catch him. Don't you see that? We... I can see one Apache brave about to get six foot of America right on top of his face. Well, now ain't the time for that. Reason with him. I'm talking the only reason they understand. Because they can't kill us. Don't say that. There ain't a force on Earth can stop justice. This place is gonna be crawling with so many deputies, and not one of them's gonna put down his gun till you pay the price. You go ahead and use that rifle. You better get a shovel and start digging for yourself. Don't talk that way to him. Tone it down. Try and be a little bit. No, I ain't built that way. You have nothing that I would want. Tim, Lord, I never saw you so strong and mean. I mean, boy, how do you give them Indians a powerful message? Yeah, well, you gotta sit down a hard track. You gotta lean on a hard line they don't cross. Yeah, hey, Mitch, you showed a little steel out there yourself today. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna tell them folks when we get back to town? Huh? Old Mitch wasn't afraid. No, I wasn't afraid of him. I mean, not for myself, but when you got up and started reading them off, I got scared for you. I know, Mitch. I wasn't scared for a minute. No, I know you weren't. yourself some law enforcement problem. So I can't see you weasel out of it. I'll handle this, Ketchum. Your Indian attacked Ketchum and Mitchell here. Did him great, grievous bodily harm. Assault and battery. 
His engine leading a bunch of renegades? A dozen or more. Well, I don't believe it. The man said grievous bodily harm. What does that look like to you? That's gonna take a mess of stitches. That much more would have been the whole lie. And he's got a split lip like you never seen. Plus miscellaneous cuts and bruises. They filing charges. What are you gonna do about it? Grand? I'm going to arrest Juan. That's what you want me to do, isn't it? You're filing a criminal complaint, so I got to arrest him. I'm telling you, Catch and Mitchell, if this is a false complaint, well, you just ask your friend the marshal what that'll mean. take in. What's the charge? Assault and battery. Catch him and Mitchell filed a charge. Did you do it? I was walking in the woods. It won't mean you went after that buck. Did you do it? No. They said something about a band of renegades? Tame renegades. Indians from the reservation. They were out foraging as I was. They saw what happened, so they helped. Thought they hated you. They do, but they hate the white man more. I was as surprised as Ketchum. You're gonna have to come with me. If I don't take you in, Duran will. Ketchum has taken my buck. Your buck. His buck. My buck. In two weeks, you people will begin your war against the animals. With your $200 rifles and your telescopes, and your tame Indians chasing and tracking the deer until he can't run anymore. Do you call that sport? No, I don't call that sport. That deer is my brother. He doesn't want to be killed by any well-fed white eye. He knows that I will kill him only to stay alive myself and to keep my family alive. Well, I'm trying to keep you alive, too, Juan. I'm trying to be your friend. Nichols, you can be a good friend or you can be a good sheriff. You can't be both. I'll see that they send you some supper down. That ain't that eight-point buck I'm thinking of. Because every man of you knows that that's my buck. Those of you that figure different, why well, you ain't no friend to catch him. Ain't no friend of mine, neither. Now, Mitch may have told those of you going along, and in case he didn't, you all got a right to know. Now, these ain't no tame engines we're facing. We're facing Apache. That's a No call to panic. Now, them Red Devils ain't seen men to match us since the Battle of Apache Pass. <laughs> and we all know what happened there. Right. Now listen, you're all sworn in legal by me. So we are the law, and they're on the other side. All right, engine fighters, follow me. Let's go! Let's get him! Thank you. 
we can shoot some snakes. Shut up and stick to business. This ain't your joyride, you know. seen him once up close. It's like you could reach right out and touch him. He turned around and he looked me right in the eye. That's when I knew. It's funny. It's like, like he knew at the same time. But he knew it wasn't going to be then, so he just went, put his head back down and went back to eating that high meadow grass. I ate some too, just, just a blade out of it. What are you laughing at? Want to go after him now? Take one shot before hunting season, and Mitch here is going to throw you in jail with old Juan Garcia. Listen, two weeks ain't that long. Of course, you take a shot at him then. What's all this? Game wardens. Deputized and myself. Isn't that a picture? Law, as far as the eye can see. You don't need all these men. We got Garcia in jail. Well, yeah, we got him put away proper, but you don't think that's the end of it, do you? Or what about that band that uh, jumped Mitch and me? Yeah, it must have been about 15 of them. He's got them reservation engines so riled up, no telling what they're gonna do. Won't go long. Well, that's what you got me down here for, wasn't it? To see that the law was in force. Put that bottle away. One thing we don't need is drinking on this job. All right, let's go. Late for business, ain't it, Juan? No, I close at nine. I put down IOU to protect you. I figure that. If I'm caught hunting, you're not in trouble. I took the gun while you slept. Even the handwriting is mine, not yours. Juan, I'm going to have to report it. I need the rifle. You need to make your report. Well, okay, come kind of look for yourself. I thought you were down there. So I went to take a dinner down, and uh, the door was open. He was gone. I never knew they taught lock picking on a reservation. Mitchell shouldn't let you go down there alone. Now, where is he? He's off making the wood safe for a kitchen. 
What does that mean? That means that he's made half the town deputy game warden. If Juan goes after that deer now, I don't want to be around. Salter House? Yeah, hi, Charlotte. Hang on. It's for you. Yeah, hello. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, Charlotte, get off the line. Yeah. What kind of rifle did he take? Yeah, no, 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 I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. What? Help that Indian to break the law. That is just what Ketchum wants. Uh, I know. Duran already told me. It's called malfeasance in office. Come on in. Ma? No. Well, now, just what was the question? It's his business if he wants to hunt that buck. I ain't the kind of mother interferes in her son's life. Emasculates a boy. Seen it happen to Emmy Spurgeon and that kid of hers. Ma, Man's not... a hunting animal, Nichols. And hunting's one of the few manly, natural, healthy things my boy does. Well, Juan Garcia broke jail tonight, and he's carrying a rifle as high powered as that one you got to catch him. So? Well, so if catch him and Juan meet up. One more Indian bites a does. Catch him is a crack shot taught him myself. You know, there's one fact that everybody seems to overlook the fact that Juan has got something on his side. <laughs> Lots of folks getting tired of you and your Indians, Nichols. My Indian? You talk like they was yours. Catch him's buck. Catch him's is... buck. You know, it wasn't so long ago that catch him's buck belonged to my Indians, and they belonged to God. Next sure if we get's gonna have a sense of humor. Ma, it's gone too far to be funny. There, there, there's a whole town full of people armed to the teeth just itching to shoot somebody. Ah, oh, they shoot a lot, but none of them aims worth a darn. All in all, if they kill anybody, it's mostly a mistake. All in all, if I shoot someone, it's gonna be that kid of yours. Maybe that's what it takes. Maybe what he needs is a man to go up against, make a man out of him. Where you sharpen a knife, rub it against steel. Ma, I spent 20 years learning how to shoot a gun. If I pull a gun, I use it. That's why I never carry one. You aiming to start now? Maybe. That mean maybe yes or maybe no? It means maybe yes and maybe no. I'm talking to the enemy. Enemy? Why, Nichols, you, you got no idea the regard I hold you in. Oh, now, Ma, you want to shoot out for his own good. Well, I'm telling you, I got 20-20 vision, I got a steady hand, and no great liking for catching. You've got real strong feelings on it, don't you? Yeah, when it comes to killing, yes, I've got real strong feelings. Well, to tell the truth, I, uh, but I got no great liking for catching myself, but he is flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Well, that blood of your blood is about to be spilled. Now, Ma, can't you just try to stop him? I told you. I never interfere in my son's life. Answer me. We don't have a lot of time. Of course. And the help of another man. You got them both. I'm sorry I busted up your jail. Uh, you didn't hurt it. Didn't need job. Now, Juan, before we go any further, there's something I want you to know. There's a dozen men out here that are ready to nail you the minute you fire a shot. I know. You fight him, won't you? As my father would have and his father before him. You fight him and get yourself killed. It's a noble way to die. 
You would just to please me, would you try thinking about dying late rather than noble? Come on, let's see if we can get these horses hidden. you all to be nice and quiet. You want this here to be a nice surprise. Now, look, don't none of you guys go off on your own. You all are going to stick together. That way we get jumped by a band of them, and there will be no chance of a massacre. <laughs> well, there ain't going to be no chance of that with you leading us, kids. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you should have seen it. These Indians jumped us. How many was there? About 15? About 15 of them? 20. 20, 25. Fierce, savage. It was unbelievable. And I didn't get scared of them either, did I? Uh, you? you sure did, not <laughs> All right. Let's get on with it. Now, remember, this is a patrol. First man that fires a shot better have a good reason for it. Here, you answer to me. Let's go. That's right, this is a patrol. We wouldn't want to see anybody get hurt, especially a passive. <laughs> 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 that track? About a half an hour. You figure he's up there? He's up there. Beyond the ridge, in the timber below. We're downwind of him, but he's too smart for us to get any closer. Oh, well, we got to, to get a good shot off. But if I'm to die nobly, as you say, what about your friends with the rifles? You saw where I tethered the horses. Now, once we get the buck, I'll take off in the other direction, draw their attention. They wouldn't shoot me. I don't think. And me? Well, you throw the carcass on the spare horse and head for the reservation. Can you handle it alone? I was planning to take the deer without the horse. Now, once you get to the reservation, nobody can say you didn't shoot it on that side of the line. That's legal enough for anybody, up to and including Duran. Uh, let me see you look in us. No, no, no. No, you are a serious man. And you? I don't understand you. I thought you were serious. But as a sheriff, you were supposed to enforce the law. Yeah, without fear or favor. Somebody else already told me that. But right now, I'm just trying to keep you alive. Come on, let's see if we can work around closer. Catch him! Catch him! Come here, come here, look! <laughs> we got him now. Stop hitting on that cactus juice. You know the difference between coyote and deer track. Well, I, can, I can buy store bought same as any other man if I wanted to. Get a better shot, take him one. People coming. How close? I don't know. Too close. If I shoot now, you're in trouble with me. you almost got was me. What'd you do that for? I thought that... Instinct. I got the instincts of a hunter. I couldn't help myself. Hey, look at him. I told you they was up to something. He's got that engine out of jail. I escaped. He arrested me again. Yeah, everything's under control. He's in my custody. Arrest him. What for? You're the only jackass fired a shot. 
At me? I'm this far from being dead at your hand. Your best friend? Okay, that'll be a hundred dollars. What? Or two months on the farm you don't pay. Now, wait a minute. You forgot I've been deputized. No, you wasn't. I forgot to swear you in. In that case, it's two hundred dollars. Nichols, you're to blame for this. You and that engine friend of yours. I've had a belly full of you. All right, Nichols. Slap leather. But catch him. Don't make a bigger fool out of yourself than you already have. You know I don't carry a gun. Nichols, I'm calling you out. Now, will somebody give him a gun? Mitchell, will you do me a favor and give him a gun? Do you a favor? I'm gonna do you a favor and try and restrain myself from putting a bullet upside your head. Nichols, will you get a gun? Well, now, you just calm yourself, Ketchum. I'm unarmed, and I'm gonna stay that way. Ketchum, now I'm telling you, put down that gun. Catch him, you sure had yourself a busy day. Assault with a deadly weapon on three counts. Deputy Mitchell, Marshal Duran, and me. Uh, that's not counting hunting without a license. You know, as a peace officer, I just hate to say it, but there are some people who have no respect for the law. Decide not to take that buck after all? What makes you say that? Well, you're coming out of Hemmings with an armful of store-bought goods. Well, which Hemmings will get half the meat of the deer? I told them I would wait till the season started. And I just what makes you so sure that you're gonna be the one to bag him? The deer and me. We have an understanding. <laughs> Besides being an Apache, what makes you so sure? There's gonna be a lot of guns out there. Catch him once, the buck. There's not a man in your town who would go against him. Except you. And this is one time you're sure that I won't. What about the other Indians? Won't they go after you? The other Indians fear me as your town fears Ketchum. Well, why is that? I'm a patcher. And so, when the season begins, there will only be two of us after the buck. Ketchum and me. Uh, Juan, you're going to have the field pretty much to yourself. Duran revoked Ketchum's license for hunting out of season. 